<laughs> oh my god oh my god what's going on falcons fans logan here welcome back to wrestle rundown and if you're new here welcome so in this video we're gonna go over a i feel like forever trending topic when it comes to falcons fans should the falcons move on from matt ryan it's always got to be half the fan base wants him to stay half the fan base wants him to leave it's always been that way, always will be, never will change. Even when he retires, there will probably still be that discussion somehow, some way, because everyone loves to talk about Matt Ryan. But anyway, um, in this video, we're gonna go over how he's really played as of late and really all of 2021. Uh, and is he playing to the point where we should keep him for much longer? Cause yeah, he did have a contract extension, but in the NFL, just because you have a contract extension doesn't guarantee that it was really worth the money and uh, that they should continue. Uh, so, was it worth extending Matt Ryan? Should we keep him for much longer? I would much rather be honest with you guys than I would like to sugarcoat things. And as much as I don't like talking bad about the team because I just don't like feeding negative energy, to myself and neither to you guys. Um, we're here for uplifting positive news, but if you want my honest opinion, no, I, I, I don't think we should keep Matt Ryan for much longer. Now, are they going to keep him? Yes, I predict that he's gonna stay for at least another year or two, but do I think it's the right thing to do? No, um, if you remember that way before Matt Ryan even got extended. I actually made tons of podcast episodes and tons of admittedly annoying rants on YouTube saying that I just wasn't really all about that building around a veteran quarterback kind of deal. Cause we see it all the time where, yeah, you know, you can build a great, great roster around this aging veteran quarterback, but by the time you built that great roster, your team can only go so far because of how limited your veteran quarterback is. Look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're like holding on for dear life to try and win with Ben Roethlisberger one more time. But yeah, they, they got a great defense. They got some offensive playmakers, but Big Ben is not a good quarterback. He's like a bottom five, maybe bottom three, dare I say, quarterback right now. And then look at the Saints with Drew Brees. Yeah, you know, they built that great defense. They built that great offense from 2017 through 2020. But they only went so far in the playoffs because Drew Brees is just so freaking limited. And unfortunately, in my humble opinion, Matt Ryan has kind of showed some limitations in 2021. Uh, now... To his credit, it's not all his fault. Yes, the O-line needs to be much better. Yes, he doesn't have the best receiving core to work with. Yes, he does have a first-year head coach and first-year offensive coordinator. Yes, that is all true. But here is my biggest problem. By the time our coaches get more experience and by the time we get more receivers and our offensive line actually you know, improves and gets better because... Developing an offensive line does not take just a year, usually at least. By the time every part of that comes together, and also building a good defense, which is definitely not going to be till like 2023 20, maybe. I mean, Matt Ryan's going to be like, what, 38, 39? Like, and he just, at, lately he's been holding on to the ball for too long. His arm, in my opinion, just hasn't really been the same. Uh... And I don't know, like, it's just, when you're out there, there's so many times where you're like looking at the Falcons and you're like, okay, the defense made a stop, that's great. Now the offense has a chance to take the lead. And how many times did we see Matt Ryan and the offense fail to convert? Again, yes, it's, an, it's a bad offensive line, not that many great receivers besides Cordero Patterson and Kyle Pitts, uh, but, I don't know, man. I just really feel like Matt Ryan's showing his limitations, unfortunately. Now, however this will come across, it, it'll always come across as I'm a Matt Ryan hater. That is not the case. It's just my humble opinion. Uh, but I would love to know your guys' opinion down in the comments below. Do you think Matt Ryan still has a lot left in the tank? 
because there were some great games from him this year against the Saints and against the Dolphins and the Jets and whatnot, but then there were some bad games like against the Panthers and the Patriots, the Cowboys. All against really good teams, by the way, which is a bit concerning. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, Reza.